getting pumped up to go down and dive in and get this seven pounder out from underneath the dock. Got a nice basket of crappie to clean. Sunday afternoon as you saw earlier did a little fishing caught some crappie caught that nice seven pound channel cat uh, I decided to keep it so it's on a stringer right now and like an idiot I tied it off to my dock and so of course the stringer is wrapped all the way around the poles on the dock so it's bad enough or at least it was last time I went down there to check on it I'm gonna have to dive in and uh, unwind the, the stringer manually but it's getting it's getting close to dinner time, so before long we're gonna have to go down there and get get the, get the fish out of the water. We're gonna have some crappie tacos tonight. Put some catfish in the freezer. Call it a successful day, if it turns out to be a successful day. It's time to go down and get this catfish. You have to dive in. So we're gonna grab the basket of crappie, which is no issue at all. But we also have a. Um, channel cat <clears throat> who has wound himself around most of the dock structure is my guess because there's some cross bracing there too so unfortunately the water has gotten colder these last couple of weeks it's sort of lower 70s right now i know it's going to be cold mr mister is playing on the on the patio up above us so at least there's that but yeah i'm not sure how else i can set the stage Got shorty, little prance, little fisherman prance. Of course, we're in the shade now, so probably the water's gonna be even cooler than it was before. That was Mr. Mr. Song. Apparently, I'm gonna repeat his plan again. Let's just check and make sure and see if I get lucky, and he's already unwound himself. I'm sure that's not the case, and he doesn't like what I'm trying to do. Make sure you get my butt in this, because I bet it looks good. <laughs> He's wrapped around. He may have he may have swum over it, and you know how catfish roll. Yeah. All right. I think I'm after getting the water. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Here to mine. <laughs> Still got to get him out. All right, let's see here. Come on, Big Betsy. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, here you are. Oh, he's round around this bolt. Wow, you really knotted yourself up. He is tightly wound. I'm not even sure how he pulled this off. I'm trying to work a seven pound catfish through a knot. Unknotting. <clears throat> yeah, no, not that. Okay, okay, now he's under, man, he really is wound around every direction. How do you even do that? Well, luckily right now he's letting me guide him. We're getting closer. I think one more brace. Tail off my balls. Okay. I got him now. Dinner. Seven pounds, quarter ounce, or no, seven and a quarter pounds is what I mean to say. Ouch, rocks. Nice channel cat. 
nice fillets. Probably get three or four pounds of good fillet meat off of this. Freezer's uh, freezer's getting a little empty, so it's time to uh, time to correct that.